well, it's not really my birthday today, but hey, it's someone's birthday every single day. Who knows? Maybe it's even your birthday. And if it is, congratulations. You are one more year closer to your death. Now, what is a young teenager's favorite game in 2024? Most young teenagers. My money is on Fortnite. And what do young teenagers love to do the most? There are two things I would say that all, all of us went through this. As an experienced young teenager myself, I would say that the two most important things in a teenagers uh, young teenagers life is video games and big booty cheeks and if you combine them together you put them together it is a deadly entertaining combo but thankfully back in my day when i was a young teenager that was a decade ago and there were not such creative streamers who would do such a thing it was just people playing normal call of duty and posting it on social media but all you young teenagers you are all cooked because the mentality you're going to have with these hot top streamers with these big booty cheeks big melons just jumping left and right while playing video games if you don't grow up and turn out to be a crackhead you will definitely be a pervert and most young teenagers with full of testosterone they definitely cannot control control themselves when they have so much reach to these things so i came across this one video where this twitch streamer is wearing green screen pants and playing Fortnite video game. Now in less than a year, we have seen a lot of changes going on with Twitch. Twitch having a love and hate relationship with its creators, banning, unbanning, nudity, nudity, artistic, but I gotta say, this is a super creative and I, got, I gotta give her credit for that. This is actually very smart. And with a little rusties, Yo, playing Fortnite, yes indeed. First thing pop into my head, how is this quality so good? Why is it so crispy and clean? Someone playing Fortnite from her booty cheeks. And for some reason, it really got me invested into the game. Like just watching the game. I didn't even realize that this whole thing is a too big booty cheeks. I wasn't even paying attention at it. I was just focusing on the game because... Of the way the structure is you know but after you watch it for 30 seconds you're gonna snap out of it and you're gonna feel like a huge pervert what there's an invisible force field let's take a quick look at the goals she is uh, about to hit 10 jumping jacks if uh, i get like five gifted subs not gonna lie it would be interesting to see five jumping jacks not because of uh, seeing her booty sh uh, booty sh sh cheeks uh, shake but to see fortnite have an earthquake it, it would be funny and kind of, I'm kind of curious how it looks like right now. And five gifted equals creamy treats. Do I really want to know what creamy treat mean? I think I'll pass. Other thing that crossed my mind as well is how is this comfortable playing the game? How long can you play the game? Right? Because you have to be standing the whole time. I can't picture myself standing and playing whatever it is you don't get tired another respect to her as well and why do i say young teenagers are cooked if they find out about her channel is because this is going to be your mentality from now on you go out you go with your friends out any uh big booty cheeks walk by you are going to picture fortnite on their booty cheeks and just walking by your mental state is going to be ruined your image your brain is going to be cooked i did a little bit of research and this is what it looks like it's not even a green screen whatever this is this is like a a tv for uh booty cheeks twitch is a platform that's no stranger to evolution not gonna lie that will be a fire intro for my next youtube video i just showcase them booty cheeks then she farts then i come out of nowhere hello guys welcome to another youtube video but what she's doing at least is a little bit more family friendly than the the videos that we've been seeing in the past few weeks charlie made a penguin z made a video about it a few days ago where he talked about twitch evolving where what this streamer having three webcams i'm gonna probably blur all of this but what she's doing is her bikini is on life support is uh, fighting for their lives to keep everything together because everything's getting squished and the background uh, back camera is showing some disgusting oily booty cheeks as well and guess what's up here the valorant gameplay in a very tiny box where i'm sure everyone will be paying attention to the gameplay this whole time not only her watermelons and her booty cheeks were all over the camera she also had six thousand people watching this stream but hey we're not here to judge or talk down to someone but you gotta think how is this going to affect the gen z's the 
the people growing up and watching these kind of streams and what kind of people you're adding to your streaming community is going to be i think these kind of streamers they will have the most perverty <laughs> things ever and i'm sure these kind of streamers they don't even enjoy attracting these kind of down bad humans i want to say that they will come they will make some nasty comments there was a time an innocent time where the internet wasn't this sexual and i'm pretty sure you were there at that time as well and i don't know what's happening to it right now everything is becoming so sexual the the addictions the addict the corn addicts are getting all out of hand and what do you think these things are gonna happen what do you think the viewer is gonna do after they watch these kind of streams what are they going to be? They will be playing with their dragon inside the bathroom. A corn addict trying to leave it so he will be a better person. Trying to change himself for the better. Boom! Fortnite on booty cheeks. He gets triggered. He goes and he starts playing with his dragon again. And he hates himself afterwards. Now this Fortnite on booty, booty cheeks, a creative streamer is... You think you saw her for the first time. But she's actually been here for the past couple of months. Doing things. She's the one actually who started the whole twitch streaming black bar situation where happened where they allowed artistic nudity where we talked about a few months ago her name is morgie pie and this is the first video that she posted where it went viral and everyone started copying her Relaxed. and also i'm following up with this she started doing all sorts of different things to track attraction to get those subs and yeah i'm not gonna play the rest for you you get the idea but i think this is the better way for her to have fortnite on her booty cheeks at least it won't be that bad for the community you know we need to minimize it as much as we can but i just scrolled down on this video and i just found this comment good morning pretty pretty morgy pie edder garcia 24 <laughs> edder my friend you have a serious issue you this is what it has come to bro the, who who even has the confidence to comment these things on these kind of videos but hey end of the day i still think twitch is way better than kick because kick is just getting out of hand both streaming platforms are getting out of hand but i guess we have to like we have to just adjust to the how the world is just gonna be turning out and just get you used to it i want to say but i do think this whole fortnite on the booty cheeks did qualify for artistic nudity on twitch policies <laughs> i just wanted to share i think it was funny i just wanted to share that with you and yeah, that was it. Take care of yourself and I will see you at the next one.